Nottingham were not left in the forest of relegation last season and the Nigerian played a key role in ensuring the club remains a Premier League side. Finishing 16th ahead of Everton, Leicester City, Leeds United and Southampton wasn't a miracle. But Nottingham put in um, the work despite a very poor budget competing against the big teams in a very competitive Premier League in their first season in the elite division in England. On the game today, I have my focus on that Nigerian uh, who stood tall uh, when it mattered the most for Nottingham. He scored important goals and the fans love him for this. Taiwo Awoni, born on, on the 12th of August 1997 in Ilorin, Kwara State in Nigeria, he is six feet tall and plays as a striker. He joined Liverpool as a youth player in 2015 but never played for the club and was sent out on loan seven times to Frankfurt, NEC in Holland, Moskron in Belgium, Ghent also in Belgium, Mainz in Germany and Union Berlin in the German Bundesliga. He finally secured a permanent deal uh, with uh, Union Berlin in 2021, had a fine season with the club after netting 15 goals in 31 matches before joining Nottingham Forest in 2022. In his first season as a Premier League player, Awoni suffered injuries but still managed to get 10 goals in 27 matches uh, he played. He joins me now on the show. Uh, how are you doing, Taiwa Woniyi? Uh, let me uh, say congratulations to you and the Super Eagles for clinching a ticket to the Africa Cup of Nations next year with a game to spare. A uh, courtesy of that Hartford, uh, Hartford win, a uh, 3 2 win, I mean, it was over Serie Lone in Morumbia. But, Taiwo, let me uh, start by asking you this. Uh, you didn't win a title in England, but you won the hearts of the fans of Nottingham Forest. Your first season in the Premier League was tougher than you envisaged, wasn't it? I think, uh, for me, I think uh, in terms of uh, what my dream is, is a league I've always wanted to be. And of course, every league is tough. Every, every game is tough. And uh, that's how I will, I, will, I will summarize it. No league is easy and no game is easy. You just have to like be at your best at every time. Well, Taiwo, you left Union Berlin and the club started doing so well in the German Bundesliga while Nottingham Forest was struggling in England. During this period, did you at any point um, regretted making the move uh, to England to join Nottingham? I think I'm a guy that uh, I always say to myself, I hardly had a regret because why should I regret? Because the step I make is, uh, is a good step for me. And Union Berlin, like I always said, even if I'm still in the club, they will still always do it. I think because the way the organization is in Union Berlin, the coach and the players, the, the board, they will always do well. And for me, I've never had any regret about my move to the Premier League because it has always been my greatest dream. Okay, well, if Nottingham had been relegated from the Premier League, would you have stayed back with them to play in the Championship next season, considering your pedigree as a player? For me, I've always wanted to stay in the Premier League. And uh, I think this is a question I, will, I don't have an answer, answer for because at the end, we don't relegate. So I don't think, if, if I didn't be able to relegate, maybe I would have think of an answer for that question, but I don't think I have an answer for that. Okay, Taiwo, you didn't score as many goals as you usually uh, do past season. Did that hurt your confidence in any way? Yeah, for me, I think I'm a guy, uh, the most important thing is, what's the end of the season as for you? And if you look at the end of the season, it's something that I'm proud of, looking at, the challenges and the, the injury, the setback and everything. I think uh, my confidence is always high and I'm happy about how the season went at the end. All right. Arsenal fans, including myself, are yet to forgive you for that goal you scored against the Gunners, one of those matches that killed Arsenal's title hopes. Uh, that seemed like the biggest moment for you uh, last season, wasn't it? Yeah, for me, I think I'm also an Arsenal fan. And uh, the truth about this is... Uh, it's a game uh, we all went into because we know how important it is for us to stay in the league. And uh, for us, winning that game is something important to the whole team and which I'm happy about. Okay, Taiwo, I really want to ask you this. You are one person who 
is very, very religious and takes uh, the things of God very seriously. Would you consider becoming a pastor uh, perhaps after your footballing career? <laughs> I don't think, uh, to be honest, I don't think I'm even near that, that stage yet. Because, of course, my philosophy is just like God is the greatest, God has the answer to everything. But I have to tell the whole world, I still have my flaws and also I'm a sinner as well. But for me, God is always God and he is the greatest in all things. All right, interesting conversation with Taiwo Awoni. Thank you so much uh, for giving me your time uh, today on the game. Wishing you the very best next season with Nottingham Forest. Thank you so much for your time, Taiwo. Well, Nottingham Forest manager uh, Steve Cooper has long signed a deal that will keep him at the club until 2025. This means that interest from bigger clubs for his services will be knocked off by Nottingham, who know that they have a decent manager in the 44-year-old Welsh coach who favours playing a 3-4-1-2 formation. There is another Nigerian doing almost nothing at Nottingham. Um, his name is Emmanuel Dennis. Do you remember him? He is still at the club. He made a couple of appearances um, last season as a substitute, but made very, very little impact. Thank you for watching the game um, today. See you next time.